and it's Monday and time for our daily draw. So we're, today we're going to do a dragonfly. We're going to start off with simple shapes and we're going to build it up. All you need is a pencil, a piece of paper and maybe a rubber. If you've got paints and you can paint it afterwards, I'm going to show you a few bits of demonstration using watercolour pencils, but otherwise just get your pencils, your crayons, get your felt tips, whatever you need. So let's start drawing. <music> Okay, so we'll start our warm-up today, just a couple of circles, remember nice and loose, couple of lines. And today's picture, what we're actually going to do is we're going to combine those. So we're going to have lines, so do me a couple of lines, and then we're going to have curved edges to them. And pretty much every shape we've got today, instead of making them like that, I want you to get the edges in and I want you to curve them. So remember to do that when we start on the drawing. And the other thing is, remember, move your pencil grip up and don't press hard, really difficult to rub out. Keep it nice and soft and smooth. Quiet lines today. So that's your warm up and let's get on with the drawing. Okay, so we're going to start with the basic shapes. All you need is your pencil and your rubber. I'm going to do mine on watercolour paper just because right at the end I'm going to show you some watercolour pencil techniques. But if you've just got an ordinary piece of paper, that is absolutely fine. So let's work out where we're going to start this dragonfly. We're going to, if, like always, think about where the middle of the page is. And I'm going to go slightly up from there. So there's up and in the middle. And then I'm just going to move maybe a little bit across. And the first mark I'm going to make is just that little curve. So I'm going to put that curve in and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to do two lines. Look how I'm holding the pencil nice and loosely. And then again, just like we did in the warm-up, a little curve there at the bottom. That's our first shape. And then we'll get, I'm going to put a line there. So that's the first shape. Now coming underneath from this, we're going to go for another curve line. So can you see how I'm doing these lovely curves? Lots of nice small pencil shapes. And here it's a square, but again, you've probably guessed it now, a square with slightly curved edges. So if you can pop those curves in there like that. And this is going to be the last bit on this section. A little curve there, like a almost like a semicircle. And we're going to take the, the curve the tail down. Sometimes it can be useful just to give yourself a little guide of how far you're going to go. So I'm going to put myself a little mark there and that will help my pencil. See how nice and smooth and go down to there and the same on that side. And this is going to be the body of our dragonfly. And we don't want it too thin because we want to get the colours in, but we don't want it too big either. So it's thinking about trying to get the right sort of width here. It's about a centimetre, just under a centimetre. And it's bigger there. Can you see that? Bigger there and thinner there. So if you pause it now, and I want you to get these shapes in first. So we're all at the same stage here. We've got these shapes in, and now we're going to go with the wings. I want them to be lovely big wings. And we're going to start with a straight line here. So in that shape that we've got there, think about going just about halfway. Put a mark on both sides because it's going to be symmetrical. I want you to take a straight line out like that. And then curve it up. So it goes higher than the head there. And from here, we're going to join that there. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. Take the line out. You can measure it a bit if you like. You think to yourself, right, that's about there. Oh, we need to go a little bit further. There. Curve it up. And then we want a curve there and join it down. And now we're going to do the same again with the bottom uh, wings. So with the dragonfly, it's not like a butterfly where they're joined together. They're the separate wings. So we'll probably go about the same, go to about there, take it out. We want this to leave this gap here, curve the edge, so many curved edges today, and then take it in 
to there. And we'll do the same on the other side. Take it out. Curve the edge. And join it up. So we've got our wings now, four wings. So already he's really starting to look like a dragonfly. But what we could do here at the top, where we've got that little line where we'd cut it off, we need to take that slightly bigger and we're going to split it like that. You'll see why in the next bit. So I want you to pause now, get in your wings and that little divide there and then we'll move on. Okay, so we're going to start up here and we're going to give him, I don't know where the dragonflies have legs. I'm not sure what this is, but let's, there will be a technical term. Any insect experts out there, you can message and let me know. So I'll just put them two, once at the front there, and then another two at the back. One, two, one, two. And we're going to finish it with the last few strokes, which is this bit here that we've got at the bottom. I'm going to separate it a bit more. This is really subtle. You don't have to do this. It just makes it look a little bit more sophisticated, which we all like in our drawings. You see how I've separated that there. I'm actually, I'm going to take this top bit here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. It's quite fancy having these big, almost like little googly eyes up at the top. And that is your dragonfly. Now from here, you can take it on, you can color it, you can color it in pens, pencils, crayons, you can fill the background with beautiful pond life. You could do another picture and stick your frog in from last week. Um, I'm gonna actually do it now in watercolor pencils and I'm gonna demonstrate that. And if you want to watch along, just watch the next bit and I will show you how to do it in watercolor pencils. Okay, so I'm going to use watercolour pencils here. I've got three colours and a brown. I've got a purple, a red and a blue. You don't have to use these colours. You can use absolutely any colours you want. Um, and I'm going to start with the blue. I'm going to start on the wings with the blue. Now, remember I've talked about these last week. Looks like an ordinary pencil. It's not an ordinary pencil. It is. Instead of lead, this is actually paint pigment inside. And I'm going, you can see I'm going quite slowly and putting quite a bit of pressure on that pencil here and that is to get as much pigment as I can out and I could colour it so that the whole thing is is um, in watercolour pencils but just to go for something a bit more interesting rather than doing that I'm going to put in here and here and then I'm going to turn it to paint and you'll see how that works um, when I grab my paintbrush which I forgot to pick up here we go so I've got my paintbrush here I'm going to take it, just a touch of water. Got here, we've got the, um, got my artist best friend in the kitchen roll. Now you can see how strong that is. But look, I've got the line and then I've got this kind of lighter bit here. Now, if I'd coloured the whole thing in, it would just be a strong, powerful blue, which will look lovely, but it's quite nice having that sort of bit more interesting mix of the dark and the blue. So I'm gonna do that now on each wing very quickly. Harder in the, in the center and I've now broken my neck. So let's try it with Elizabeth's passing me another blue. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to use another blue. Thank you. Elizabeth is, some of you will know from the lessons, one of our teachers at the Little Art School, as well as being my oldest daughter. And she is filming all these, which I'm very grateful for, because it'd be really hard to do it on a selfie stick. It's making a big difference. So you can see... Just do this really quickly. The more water you put on, can you see how much water I've really flooded that? It will take ages to dry, but it will go nice and light. So it's really your preference. 
Um, there we go. So you get that nice watercolour effect. Now I'm going to do the same in the centre, but slightly different because I'm going to make it look as if the sun is shining on that side. So I'm going to go much darker around this edge. See, it's sort of colour half. I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to go around the edge and then colour half, not even half really, about a third and the same and down here and the same. You could do the body in a different colour, you don't have to do it all in blue. I'm just feeling like I'm enjoying this colour today. It really could be absolutely any colour you choose. It might be nice in sort of greens and blues or sort of jewel colours. I always think dragonflies are sort of jewel colours. So can you see we've got it darker there on one side and lighter on the other just by putting that in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to put in the googly eyes. Now usually I would let the blue dry a bit first because you can see it's all a bit wet there. I'm going to use the purple around some of the edges just to make it look a bit more interesting. You could add a bit of purple in the wings if you wanted. Usually I'd wait for that to dry. You see it's starting to go in. I'm going to finish it with a brown, which I'm not going to turn to paint. I'm just going to put his little legs in. And there is my finished butterfly. And when I've got a bit, not butterfly, dragonfly, and when I've got a bit more time this afternoon, I'm going to put in some little plants. I'm going to put in some little flowers and have some fun, fun with it. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed doing yours. So really hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you can take a picture of it and you can put it onto our Facebook page, we would absolutely love to see your pictures. The other thing you could do is you could maybe FaceTime grandparents or friends and you could sit and draw them to draw together or teach them how to do it now that you've done it so brilliantly. So we will see you tomorrow. The next lesson will be released at 11 o'clock and we're gonna do beautiful hot air balloons tomorrow. So I will see you then.